Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. We've got this knife here. It's a stainless. I can't even read that. Anyway, if you can see that, it's a scorpion, but. The handle's busted. We need to come up with an idea to make a handle for this blade. What can we do? I got it. Let's make a handle out of this. Stay tuned, I'll show you what I got in mind. Okay guys, like you just heard, this, this knife is, it's fucked up here, it's busted, just a plastic handle knife, but the blade's okay, it's, the blade's never been used, so I was thinking maybe I can cut this off here and weld this blade into this, cut this down to where it's a nice handle, and uh, see what happens so first let's go ahead and take this apart this this is no good it's just one of them cheap Taiwan ratchets they break about the first time you use them you get I don't know like a hundred pieces in it for like ten bucks you know $9.99 and the sockets break and this always breaks first and then you got a whole bunch of shitload of shit sh sockets that you can't do anything with so what, what I'm thinking is we're going to take this out of here and we're going to cut this right across here, maybe, and we're going to weld the blade inside of here and then we'll cut the handle down, you know, about that much or whatever. Now, what I'm thinking about doing with the handle is I've got some paracord here on this bracelet that Mon Monkey bought me a couple years ago. Now this thing is cool. It's got a whistle, an emergency whistle got your compass it works half ass but it's better than nothing it does have a little knife on I think I did a review on this it's got a little cutting thing on it it's just it's a survival thing I mean it's better than nothing you know if you get stuck out in the wilderness and your little ferro rod there I know it's little but you know a little sparks better than nothing and you got all this paracord so this is a nice dead bug so this is a nice little deal here I mean I like it but I'm thinking about using this to wrap the handle on here because this I can still I can still keep it because I can still put you know like a key ring I'm put on a key ring or whatnot you know keychain whatever so I think this this is what this is what we're going to use here. So first, let's take this thing apart. Let me grab a screwdriver. All these have is like this little this little spring in here that I mean it's it's really these ratchets are really junk. I mean, even for ten bucks, um, I've bought them before to use. I never did a review on one set, but I will. Um, it's just next time I see them on sale for about five bucks, which I do sometimes, I will do a review on the socket set and sockets and show you that they're they're just not they're not worth the money because they are total shit they are junk and they shouldn't even be selling shit like this I mean if people think they're getting a deal you know guys that don't do a lot of work on things like I do it may be alright for them but if you're doing you know even a couple times a week 
don't expect much out of them. And I'll tell you something else too, even the, the half inch drive ratchets, they usually break first. So, and a lot of times, most of the time, these things usually freaking come out by themselves, you know. But yeah, they strip out. They're just they're just junk. First time you got to put any kind of pressure on anything. I know, I know. You shouldn't be breaking bolts loose with your ratchet anyway. But I do it. Most people do it. You should have a breaker bar, but you know anyway. And then that just slides out. And you just see there it is. It's broke right there. Now. If anyone's wondering what I what I broke this on, taking out a spark a spark plug in a weed eater. That's right, a spark plug in a weed eater, and that thing broke. So I mean, look at that, just just falling all apart. But yeah, right there, a spark plug. Not even in a car, in a freaking weed eater. You know, I mean, it's crazy. Okay, so let's move this crap out of the way here. Now, this thing, we gotta be careful with this. This is, this thing will probably haunt me. I'm gonna try to break this uh, blade off of here. thinking about doing is cutting this off right about here well, I was kind of wanting to leave a little bit there um, I may just cut it directly off here and put a slice in here and slide this in and kind of weld it around We'll just have to see what we got going on here. Okay, so. A good way to fuck yourself up right here, boy. If you ain't careful. Get a pair of pliers. That was some storm we had last night. I wonder if I can just cut that. There we go. Some storm. Sorry the live stream wasn't longer, but you know. I just wanted to share what was going on with you and see if anyone else was had was having the same same things. That'll probably melt. Um not sure how I want to do that if I just want to so it's not a full full tang so this is the tang because you know it's foldable so I think what I'll do is I'll like cut this off here here and 
and cut this right straight across so this when this is inside here could meet up with that but the issue I'm all run into is I need to cut a slice right through here so this can slide down in. okay so I think what I could do is I could cut that straight across here right through here and then leave a little bit here cut my cut my slice and I can always grind this blade to match whatever little bit I got here make it smooth uh, I'm going to try to weld it in um, it's not going to be pretty with that with that little 110 welder but yeah I think that's I think that's what I'm going to have to do because this is going to have to be like that and it looks like it's pretty wide here so what I'll probably have to do as well is, is grind this off right here flat, you know, so it's not sticking out. Or once I put it in there, I'm going to have to grind around a little bit anyway to clean up my welds. So, let me see here. Let me see what we're going to do. Let me grab a pen. Alright, got me a sharpie here. Um, so I'm going to cut this pretty much straight off right, right there. Well, straight as I can get it, you know what I mean. Then, so that's going to be something like that. Then I think... I'll cut this off here, right there. We can always take off, but it's harder to put back. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slice this whoosh, like that, and then slice this straight across. Because then I'm going to have to put a slice in like this. For what little bit of tang that's on there can go through. Alright. So, let's get this outside and let's get it cut off. Alright guys, I'm going to keep working on this. I think it's going to work out pretty good. And make it a little deeper. And I think it's going to be alright. So let me keep working on this and I'll show you as we progress. Okay guys, this is what we've got so far. Now what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to fill this in with some weld same way with on the bottom and then I'll take my little flapper disc here a lot of people call them buffing disc, buffing wheels um, and I'll smooth it all out and wherever it needs to be and I'll make it uniform kinda of rounded these edges won't be so sharp up here they'll be rounded I think I'm just gonna leave that right there because it kinda of looks neat <laughs> but uh and I'm not just going to run, you know, them 110 welders, they're, they're hard to run a bead. Uh, you know, it's not gas. There's no gas with it. So what, what I'm going to do is just tack it, tack it, tack it, tack it. Well, first I'll, I'll probably, let me see. I'll probably tack it down here. Then I'll tack it up here. And I'll do tack, 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 tack. 
because when you're welding if you guys don't know much about welding like if I would just even if I could run a good bead with that welder and I ran a bead there it'll want to pull that like that and you'll have that down there like that okay so you want to kind of go back and forth uh, I could probably get by with running a good tack there which it's not going to want to pull it down okay because it's a little bit tighter up here so I'll probably run me a good tack right in there and then I can just tack this top maybe get halfway and then do the bottom whatever um, but like I said if I start tacking up here it's going to want to pull that blade like that I don't want that so I'll tack it on the bottom first because like I said it doesn't you know it takes a lot to get it to to come down so that's what I'll be doing with that and once I get that all nice and uniform and looking pretty decent then we'll wrap it I thought about cutting some of the end off but some guys hands are longer than the others so I thought I'd kind of leave that a little bit there for that kind of deal um, but I don't know if I do cut the end of this off I think what I'll do is I'll kind of cut it off at an angle and round it off that may look cool or I may drill a hole you know um, we'll, we'll just have to see when we get there um, we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves there on that but so that's what that's what we're looking at right there so that'll all be filled in I shouldn't have to come down around there because I'd like to save that scorpion there if I can I shouldn't have to come around here um, I think uh, you know you shouldn't be batoning with a serrated edge though I have you can but that's not what the serrated edges are for so uh, I think I, I think it'll be alright if I just weld here in here because most knives you know they just got a pin there and a pin up here you know like on the full tangs or like this one just had a pin there um, so I think that'll be plenty of weld and it'll kind of turn this into essentially a full tang not really but essentially it'll be kind of like a full tang so that's that's what we're looking at so I'm going to get the welder out and I'll show you a little bit of that like the grinding only took about five minutes even sped up nobody wants to watch five minutes of grinding okay we get the idea we see what you're doing I'll move on and that's what I'm going to do so you know I'll, I'll tack it and tack it and then I'll show you and then I may speed this up a little bit and then I'll show you a little bit of the grinding but like I said I don't want to bore you you know with a lot of grinding and, and um, welding because this is, this is not a how-to how to weld now um, as far as grinding I won't actually be grinding I'll be I'll be taking some of the weld off but not like grinding off so what I'm going to do when I clean this up is I'm going to use this this is what 30 36 grit didn't know they made a 36 grit that's what this was a 36 grit now as you can see how smooth that is now right as opposed to inside there okay it would have been real rough made for taking off a lot of metal this is the only one I've got at the moment so I have I don't have different grits alright so this is actually you know way past way past 120 grit you know I've got 120 grit sandpaper but it's actually more uh, more aggressive than this this will be a little more forgiving that's why I don't throw these away because if, if you come down and get down to the point like I'm at to where I don't have any more this is smooth and I think it'll do what I need it to do it'll take off what I need it to take off if I gotta take off a lot then I'll use the cutting wheel for that but I think this will this will be fine and like I said I'll start my wrap right about here you know and that should be and I don't know see a lot of guys hands will come back to here so if I make it fit my hand then it's only really going to fit my hand so I may if I do cut it off I may cut it off there you know and if I have any extra I can make kind of like a lanyard to where you can put it around your wrist but we'll have to see but I'm guessing I'm going to have a lot of guys like them longer so they can use it like a, a chopping tool but 
you know, like I said, um, I'm probably at least going to take off an inch. That way it'll give, you know, somebody with bigger hands or whatever. And it'll give you a little bit more stability. It's not, you know, going to be perfect. I mean, it's kind of weird to hold if you're looking at it. But if you're not looking at it, it's kind of comfortable. But we'll see once we get our, get our paracord on there. And uh, if this goes well, if this and, and I'm going to sell it, and if it does sell well, I may consider making these for people. You know, even if they just want to put them on a shelf or, you know, just in their knife collection, I think uh, I think it'll be it'll be pretty nice. We'll try to get that looking looking a little more uniform. This is just rough cut here, you can say. So that's going to be something about of like how it's going to be you know like if it's you know so that's wanting to come down there there we go so it'll be I'm not sure if I want to go like that or make that straight across I'm thinking I'm going to make that straight across like like that so that's kind of straight and because you know we've got to clean that up but let me get the welder out and we'll get this tacked on then I'll weld it and we'll come back and see what we got now this is just this piece of plastic is for when you was pulling it out of out of the blade or out of the handle you know like the handle was there and if it was folded up that was that would have been right about there something like this so that's what you would pull whoops that's what you would pull that out with um, this is going to come off because it's not needed. So hopefully if there's a little hole there, that may even make it look look a little more cooler. So, again, let's get the welder out and tack this thing together and we'll go from there. Alright guys, this is what we're looking at. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. It gives a little bit of character. You can tell it's homemade. <coughs> which I was wanting. But I don't have a Dremel to get in here and clean this up properly. So, I think it'll look okay. It's homemade. It's a little rustic. That's what a little guys look for. Um, but... Yeah, so let's go ahead and get to wrapping this handle. Um, I think I'm just going to keep that that handle like that. Um, it's a little long. I was going to make it about the about the size of this handle, but I'm only looking at that much more. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? It is kind of long back here, but, you know, it's heavier up here. It's it's not bad. It's not bad balanced. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to keep it long if somebody wants to whack on a tree, if they're even going to use it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get this all unwound and I'll speed this up for you
Okay there, you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this. <coughs> Excuse me, and let the, uh, let the camera charge up a little bit. And I'll get back with you when we get ready to wrap the knife. Okay guys, I got this all off here. Now I found, went and found the, the middle of this. And all I did was just hold the two ends together like this and then run my hand down it and right there's the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here now this is going to take a while I'm going to show you how I'm doing this and then and then I'll uh, I'll just go ahead and cut because this is going to take probably an hour maybe 45 minutes um, and I'm just going to tie this Just like that. I'm going to get it tight. And I'm going to pull it around. And I'm going to do, do, duh. I'm going to do the same thing on the top. And I'm just going to keep going from top to bottom. And you can do it on the sides if you want. I may change and do that. We'll just have to see. Tie it tight and then bring it back around. Okay? Now I'm just going to keep doing that. I don't know. I, I've done these before like this and I really don't know if I like the way they turn out. I may just do it on the sides like that. But it takes a while anytime you're doing something like this and then you can tie it here. I may just do it on the sides, you know, to where it comes up on the sides like that. There's so many different ways you can do this, it's crazy. But I'm going to experiment with this for a little bit, and I'm going to get it about up to here, and I'll show you what it looks like, and we'll see if we like it like that, or if we want to do something, something different. It's not normally the way I wrap these things, but... I seen a guy on YouTube doing it on a uh, on a hatchet, and it turned out really nice. I, I liked it on there, but but this is so small, you know, hatchet handles a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just keep on doing this. I'll get it up here, and we'll see what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. I also drilled a hole in here because when I get to the ends, I want to I'm, to the end. I want to bring bring it through and make a lanyard so you can put it around your wrist. So let me let me continue on with this and we'll see how it feels and see if we like it. So I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so what I did, I did it like I was going to, like I told you I was going to, and it was badass only it only did about this much. I had this much of the handle left. So uh and I thought I recorded how it looked because it was really neat it felt good but uh i guess i didn't hit record <laughs> so this is all i'm doing i'm just doing an over under okay i'm taking it that one's over and this one will go under bring it around and go over and then back under and I'm going to do that all the way up to here and then I'm going to do it all the way back okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm not going to bore you with it because that takes a while <laughs> it took a while the other way it took a lot longer than this way will take but it was really cool and it was well worth it so so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep doing this. Keep straightening it every so often. 
It's not going to be perfect, guys. I'm not a professional knife maker. I'm just Shea Bear 1000, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep doing that. All the way up, and then all the way back again. And I will show you how it looks when we get done. You can do it just one, one revolution if you want, but I like to have more more of the cord you know so I think a lot of people do too a lot of people don't use it but it's just nice to have in a survival on a survival knife if you would need it so I'm gonna keep doing that I think it's gonna look good with two layers hell it looks good with one layer but I got the cord I'm gonna go ahead and use it so waste not want not right okay so I'm going to keep doing this and I'll bring it back again back here and we'll uh, I'll kick you back on once I get it to the end okay so that's all I'm doing I'm just doing an over under just kind of like a single weave you know there's what it's going to look like I mean that looks pretty neat just like that just the one doesn't feel bad I may just do the one the one layer I don't know we'll just have to see and uh, just doesn't you know I like it a little bit thicker all right let me get back with you guys okay guys here it is our homemade knife handle <coughs> excuse me we didn't make the knife but we did make the handle out of a ratchet. It's got a nice little uh, little hint, lanyard on it. So, um, is it comfortable? Yeah, it's not too bad actually. I mean, you know, and it is long. You can, you know, you can chop stuff. You know, you can chop stuff with it. Chop wood. Of course, this is plastic, but uh, so yeah, little sticks and stuff for kindling and whatnot. So, like I said, it's got a nice little lanyard on it. All right, now I may have to tighten it up a little bit, <coughs> but that's okay. No biggie. Just one row. I couldn't do two rows. I couldn't bring it back because I kept ending right about here. No matter how tight, it just, uh, no matter how I adjusted the, the paracord, it just wouldn't do it. I just didn't have enough. So, but anyway, there's, there's about, uh, there's about six feet on there. Well, maybe eight if you count the lanyard, which you can take off and use as well. Uh, so there it is what do you guys think just for throwing something together <laughs> I know it's kind of ugly down in there it's not real clean you can see some scuff marks from the sandpaper but that's okay because it is a homemade knife and it is made well it's a homemade handle knife handle and it is made out of a ratchet I think it's pretty cool what do you guys think alright guys so there we go pretty neat I like it I'm going to try to sell it, put 10 or 15 bucks on it, because homemade knives are expensive. Like I said, the knife part is not homemade, but the handle is. You guys saw me do it. So, uh, it's about time for a <coughs> monkey to be getting home. So, I got some Cornish game hens in there I'm going to put in the oven for. So, I'm going to pick my tools up. And uh, later tonight we're probably going to be doing a video of the R2-D2 robot. I've been reading up on I've been reading the manual. And uh, so I kind of got an idea of what's going on. I've already downloaded the app onto my phone. So hopefully that'll work. Hopefully it works better than that. I, that, well, not iWatch, but that cheap uh, Apple Watch. It's not even an Apple. That Dollar General watch I bought. Um... It does some things. It, it, it'll play music, and that's about it. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this app will work. Because, you know, I've had a lot of people try this app and try that app. 
but in order to get that to work you have to use the app that they they want you to download I can't get any other one to work right on it uh, but anyway hopefully this won't be an issue like that but we're gonna find out soon so thanks for hanging out with me in the garage today <laughs> I'm gonna start putting these little um, excuse me. I'm gonna start putting these little these little project videos under um, its own playlist, and you know where you guys see where I open the garage and then shut the garage down. And it's gonna be Shea Bear Shop shenanigans because we do get some shenanigans, but it'll be for like little um, uh, just little projects like this so anyway again guys thanks for watching Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now bye bye guys have a great weekend